Hey, recording this. <coughs> recording this uh, October third, two thousand twenty. Um, on the road to work right now. So if it's if it's here, the car, in the background, it's a little loud. I apologize. Um, but you know, last night, game two, I mean finals in the books. Lakers win game two. Not surprised. I do like the fact that the Heat were competitive in the game yesterday. It, it was nice to see. You know, back to the Heat culture. It's just simple, guys. The, the Heat are overmatched. I mean, just, there's really nothing really to talk about here other than the fact that they're overmatched right now. Um, and it's okay. You know, sometimes the better team is a better team. You know, you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, you know, arguably two, not just two. You know, people say they, they are two of the best players. I mean, I can argue that they, they are the two best players in basketball. The two best. One and two. Um... And Anthony Davis is, you know, for all the, for all the, I mean, for me personally, you know, being, you know, uh, you know, obviously with the Heat, for the Heat and me in that bubble, you know, we are watching a guy now that's starting to figure it out now. You know, granted, he has played LeBron James. It took him to leave me on New Orleans to play LeBron and the Lakers and all that, but he's starting to figure it out now. And that's a scary proposition. You know, this is something I thought when the Lakers didn't get Kawhi, the, th- the third piece, I thought, mm, well, They'll be good, but maybe the West is too good, and maybe they'll, you know, maybe their ceiling is pretty pretty small because of the fact that you know LeBron's on the, on the other side of thirty now, and you know, and obviously you know this competition in the league has gotten much better. But I don't know. I, I think this could be a pro- team could be a, could be a problem for the next couple of years. I think you look at okay, LeBron is not slowing down anytime soon. I mean, look, I, he, obviously there's. Is there some deterioration in LeBron James compared to what he was in, 20, in 10 years ago? Of course there is. He's older. But he's still the best player in basketball, man. And that's where I have to apologize a little bit, too, because, you know, last year, early in this year, I remember saying, you know, oh, it's Kawhi, it's this guy, you know, LeBron is, I uh, mean, not having any more. Maybe he's not the best guy anymore. Not, 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 that, not, not that he's not having any more. He's still, even when I said that, he, I still recognize he was a top five, top three player in the league. But, no, LeBron's still the best player in the league. Uh, let's, let's, let's get that clear. Um, we, you know, I jumped the gun there a little bit. Uh, and, and the thing is, I, I know better. I should have done that. I know I know myself. I should not have done that. Um, but, yeah, uh, he's been, you know, obviously really good in the series. But, I mean, Anthony Davis, man, he's the, he's the one. He's the killer. Like, LeBron never scared me. Le- LeBron was one that scared me. It was Anthony Davis that always scared me. And you've seen why. You've seen why he's so good, why, why he was... Highly touted by many, you know why the Lakers won him. Why he was the centerpiece. And he's gonna be centerpiece of this team for a long time. Once LeBron, I don't know LeBron retires or decides to retire, you know. So, you know, O two, you know, like I said, he gave him credit for the, for the, for, uh, for putting up effort. But again, you know, <laughs> Pat Riley, Eric Spoelstra, they, they don't care. They they're gonna they they don't. They don't play that victim mentality. They're not going to look at it. Oh, well, we're down two guys. Bam and Goron didn't play. Dragic didn't play. You know, all that. They, they Their their philosophy has always been next man up. We got bodies. Let's play. You know, and I embrace that too. You know, Lakers are the better team. It's that simple. Um, can I see the Heat winning one game in the series? It's possible. I think it's possible. It, if Bam Adebayo if plays game three, which which is uh, right now the report that he's trying to get back for game three on Sunday night. Um... Yeah, I could see maybe a scenario where the Heat win one game, um, but I don't know. Uh, that would require the Lakers to get off the gas because they've been on the gas pretty much from the word go. Since that first, since, since the beginning of the first quarter of Game One, they have just been dominant, you know. And the thing is, too, they they they're daring they, they, the Heat are daring them to shoot the ball, like, and they're hitting shots. They, they had what sixteen three pointers last night in the game. Um, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I mean, the zone, zone clearly ain't working. But what else do you do? So, so I had a conversation with my, my cousin last night about that. You know, you know, he was saying that they should change it up. And I think man, I think playing man is worse. I think the zone at least limits. Like you're hoping that they, you know, the Lakers take, take the low percentage shot and hoping they make miss the low percentage shots, but they're making the low percentage shots. You know, so uh, you know, again, it, it's, it's, it's a make or miss league, and the Lakers have been making their shots. It's that simple. You know, um, but game three tomorrow. Uh, hopefully he continues to play hard and hopefully he can steal a victory. You know, I had Lakers in six to start with anyway. So, I mean, I, I thought Lakers would win the series regardless. So, not really surprised. So, uh, besides that, now it's going to be a quick one because I'm heading to work. Um, obviously, we all know the news about the president 
um, on the last podcast when I did, I was I was in the studio. I was actually in, the, in you know actually recording the last episode when my mom texted me, and you can hear me actually on recording talking. My mom texted me, telling me that the president had coronavirus or got coronavirus. Now it's funny because like. Um, when she texted me, the, whole, the news with Hope Hicks, uh, one of Trump's advisors, um, had already dropped hours before that. I was recording about quarter to 11, 11 o'clock. My mom texted me. She, you, you could hear me on the recording, like, fumbling around, like, what, wait, is this news true? This and, that. and then she texted me after about a minute later saying, no, no, he's not having it yet. He's in, just in quarantine. And then, of course, I finished the podcast, go to bed, and I'm about to, I'm about to, as I'm falling asleep, I, gotta, I get the uh, alerts on my phone saying that he doesn't talk test coronavirus, COVID-19. And all that, um, and then you've seen that the last twenty four hours, um, a bunch of senators, um, Kaylin Conway, also COVID nineteen positive, a um, couple, couple of senators, like I said. <clears throat> Let me start here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a Trump guy, obviously. I've been very clear about that. Don't hate the guy. This is this is not my this is not my cup of tea. That's all. And but please, folks, miss me with the with the you know the bullshit. About you know trying to you know oh, what the world, you know I, 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 look I, I get this is this is why I hate about people today you know you have one side that are like oh you see what a dumbass you know he, he gets gets the COVID, gets COVID and this and that he deserves that for whatever he's done and yeah I guess sometimes you make a case for that to some degree but I, I I can't stand the people on the right too also who are you know oh look at the liberals are so mean. Like, can I, can I be clear about something real quick? Okay, and let's be adults here for a second. Especially on social media, if you want to find negative things to, to piss you off, you're going to find it. It's social media. Instead of harping on it, like, there's somebody on my Facebook that, that, that uh, was talking about that. And she has, a, she has a valid point, you know, there's a lot of people who are, who are just, who have been disrespectful towards, towards Trump about, about, Again, COVID nineteen, this and that, and this is this definitely a case we made there. But again, <clears throat> if you want to find, if you want to find negative things, you're gonna find negative things. That's simple. My thing is this though: why won't you talk about the positives? Why won't you, why don't you talk about the fact that Joe Biden stopped airing negative ads on Trump as a result? Why why, why are you not talking about the positive things? It's easy to find negative stuff. It's easy to find negatives and, and make yourself mad and get triggered. It's because he wanted to. But Joe Biden had a very classy press conference yesterday. You know, wishing, wishing the president and his, and his first lady well. Small Iris and his, and his her husband Doug, Doug, all the same thing. There have been some people, there's some indoor people on, on the left, commentators, who have, who have wished him well. Why won't you focus on that? Like, like I said, it's easy to find a negative. Easy. And to me, I don't know, I, I feel like People do this and just trying to find ways to be mad, to, 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 to stay in their bubble. Like, if you want to make a change, take it with yourself first. If you, want, if, if you want unity, as people say you want, look at yourself first. What are you doing to create change? Seriously, look at yourself first. You can't create change until you start with yourself. The energy you put out there is what you're going to ultimately... Exhibit and create and and and, and, and absorb it. In, period. I don't understand it. People looking for negative things to think to, to talk about to get pissed off. All the liberals are you know being mean about to the president and this and that and yeah of course they're going to be mean about, about that. Yes, that's to be expected. So, Susan, when R B when R B G passed away, that, that you you think there were conservatives who are, you know, right-wingers sitting there, and I, and I, I, I know those things, I saw this on, on social media, but again, if you sit there and harp on that, you'll, you'll get nowhere, you, 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 all, you do is, all you'll do is just sit there, sit there with your phone and be mad, that's it, that's all it is, like, stop, at some point, we gotta grow up, at some point, we gotta grow up, and, and just hold, hold ourselves accountable, Forget everybody else. Hold ourselves accountable. That's the same. So, anyway, this is a quick one. Quick podcast. 
I think uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, go Marlins. The Mets are out of the playoffs. So, like, the, 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 go Marlins in the second round of the playoffs now at LDS. Yes, I'm on the Marlins bandwagon. You know, I haven't watched too much barely any baseball this year. This is the problem when you have basketball running alongside uh, baseball. Basketball was the first priority for me. Period of discussion. So, anyway. I'm almost at work. I'm going to pick up some apple juice, some Dunkin' Donuts, and get my day started. I hope you guys are well. God bless you guys. Um, and just uh, stay, stay safe, stay up. Um, t- look, take care of yourself, hold yourself accountable, and just do, put your head down, man. Like, seriously. Enough's enough. You know, seriously. Just, I don't know. What about you? Fix you. Then what about anybody else? If everybody fixes themselves, the world will be a happier place. But sadly, people don't think that way. So, anyway, this is going to be a podcast with no, with no music. Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing this on the road, and I'm not going to edit this later on. I'm going to just put it out now to the masses. So, uh, we'll do another pod, hopefully. I'm going to try to do one tomorrow, too, if I can, after Game 3. Um, and um, we'll see what happens there. We'll check out some guests on the show in the next, the next couple of days. So, love you guys. Take care. Stay up. And see you.